Hi guys, how are you all doing? Today I'm going to make a real BIR base. The way I was shown in a, a takeaway, I don't know, a long time ago. Now, this is a request from a lovely lady who sent me an email and actually asked me to show her how to make a real BIR base. Now, don't forget there's many, 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 many recipes out there for curry bases, but this is a real BIR curry base. Okay, now I'll show you how I was shown years ago, but I'm actually doing it as a 10 kilo base. Okay, now I don't see the point in making a base any less than that, because if you're going to make a base, you might as well make a base one time out, make your curries, you know, you can freeze your base, there's not a problem. So what we have to start with first, we have to start with some spices in some water. Now there's many ways and many uh, takeaways restaurants make this type of base in different ways. You know, they fry spices, add spices, fry ground spices at the end and add to a base. Now I don't fry spices at the end and add to a base. I used to do it one place. What we found was that the corners had bits in, you know, uh, and we don't want that. So what we're going to do today, we're going to actually make a real BIR base gravy, okay? And this base gravy starts off with some star anise. Now, you can use your chef's spoon. We want some star anise. We want some cinnamon. All in a piece, okay? And right guys, what I've got here, I've got some Thai cardamom, okay? It smells nearly the same as Indian cardamom, green cardamom. But green cardamom in Thailand is really, really expensive. You know, a bag of cardamom at 1,400 baht, or this at 100 baht, that is more than 10 times the amount for cardamom. So you use green cardamom, I'll use Thai cardamom, okay? It's cardamom. But what we need, we need a good chef's spoon in there, okay? Now basically, it's like a bit of a garam masala. Um, you know, we're putting like a, a spice blend together, but when we've got the onions and carrots in there, it'll take the flavor to the base. So it's like a garam masala with the whole spices uh, going to be infused in the water. But what we need to add to this to actually carry the flavour into our base when we actually cook with our onions, we need to add two onions and a carrot, okay? And that will take on all those flavours and it's like a sponge, uh, okay? It's not going to su suck it all up, but it's like a sponge it will actually suck in the flavour and then we, we tip the water and the onions and carrot in our onions and carry on to boil. So that puts a flavour in our base gravy, okay? So what we need to do now is we need to cut some onions and put it in there. Now, this is not rocket science, guys. This is a straightforward, simple cut and in your pan, okay? Now, you can add all sorts of things to this pan, but this pan is like a spiced water, nothing else. Okay, so you don't need to add salt, sugars, anything. Okay, you've got some spices in there, you've got some onions in there to carry the flavour, and then we're going to have a carrot in there. Okay, so then we've got a carrot in there. The only thing we need to do now is put water in there. So let's have a look in here and you can see there's nothing else in here. And we put water in and then we get this on the stove to boil. So let's show you what's in here. Right, okay guys, so that's our water in there with our spices. All we need to do now is put this on the stove 
and boil this up. Now we want to boil this for about an hour. Whilst this is boiling, we can chop our onions and things to make for our base. It's very simple, straightforward, but we want, we don't need to fill this pan with water. We want a good amount of water in there because we want to transfer this flavor, watery flavor to our base. But if we put too much water in, the flavor won't be so intense. So we, we put like half a pan of water in with the spices and the onions and the carrot, boil it up and then take out the spices and put the carrot onion water in our base. Okay, it's very easy, very simple. So let's get this on the stove. Okay guys, uh, okay, now there's many schools of thought on how to make a curry base. I'm showing you how to make a real BIR curry base, which I made for years, okay? Now, my onions have already sliced. Now, they are on the other video if you want to see how to slice onions. But you know, it's fairly straightforward, a little bit of practice, slice straight through, okay? Now, I slice my onions for one reason and one reason only, okay? When I sold the business, I sold my big stick blender, my Rubo Cooper uh, stick blender. So, unfortunately, I'm using these domestic blenders. Okay? Now, I do have three of them because they do burn out. Um, but anyway, I'm using these domestic stick blenders, so I slice everything. It doesn't matter guys, you know, I slice my onions because of the blender, like I say. But you can put all your onions in there whole if you want. As long as it boils long enough, you know, an onion's an onion. Now there's many schools of thought on, oh, the longer you cook it, the sweeter it is. Um, it's sweeter if you boil whole onions than it is if you do sliced onions. Now, I'm not going to get into that, you know, an onion's an onion, whether it's sliced or whole. And if it's boiling in water, how can it be any different? Now, if it's been caramelized in some oil, I can understand that probably, well, I can't understand actually, because if you caramelize onions as a whole onion, and caramelize sliced onions, you know, you would prefer to have the sliced caramelized onions on your burger hot dog than you would a whole onion. So I don't get with the sweetness of anything to do with onions boiling in water. That is, I leave that to everybody else, you know. I, I don't really bother about any of that, you know. Um, an onion's an onion, whether it's, you know, if it's boiled in water, an onion's an onion. Come on. Right, so we've got our 10 kilos of onions. Now I always make a 10 kilo base. I cannot see the point of making a one and a half kilo base. Um, because what you can do, you can freeze your base and it freezes very well. And then you can just take it out, defrost it, make a curry. Uh, whereas if you make a one and a half kilo base, okay, you get a couple of curries, you might freeze a portion, and then all of a sudden you decide one Friday, Saturday night that you want a curry and you've got nothing left in the freezer. So I always make a 10 kilo base, okay? So this is a 10 kilo base. 10 kilos of onions chopped one green pepper okay now this is not rocket science guys we just want the green pepper in there now we don't want all the seeds obviously we don't want all that in there just run your knife through your peppers add your green pepper okay and then we want to add a carrot Like I say, I'm slicing carrots because of the stick blender and only because of the stick blender. You know, if I had a commercial blender, I would tend to just cube this up into fairly large pieces, chuck it in and boil it, and then blend it. But because we're on that stick blender, there's our carrots. So that's our carrots in there. 
It's very warm in here because we got this spice blend boiling away behind me. Okay, so what I always do, what I have always done in my curries, I add one chef spoon of cumin seeds. Now it's only like that. There you go. In. Now don't worry about the cumin seeds. You know, an hour and a half boiling away in the pan, the cumin seeds are going to completely disintegrate. Not a problem. Okay. Now I always add a little bit of chili. Now this is really, really, really spicy dry chili. So we're just going to add about half a chef spoon, no more. This is as spicy as heck. No, I'm not kidding. I'm absolutely melting in here, guys. This thing boiling away behind me. Whoa. Okay. Now we want a chef spoon. A level chef spoon of salt. Put that in there. Now the salt's in there, guys. You, I'm okay. You think there's a lot in there? There's not a lot in there, you know. By the time that's boiled down in the water, the salt content's not going to be very much, and it is going to help draw out the moisture of the onions and break the onions down. Okay, we're adding our ingredients into our base. It doesn't matter what order you put them in, guys. You know, you can put them in any order, as long as they go in. Right, this is our mixed powder. Want a good heap spoon of mixed powder. Now, everybody's got their own um, recipe for mixed powder. My mixed powder is already on the channel, so you can have a look at it. You know, it's only a... It's only a mixed powder. Five, four, three, two, one. And if you've watched it, you'll know what I mean. Okay. And then what we want to add, do then is add one chef spoon of turmeric. There we go. So, like I say, guys, you know, making up a curry base is essential it's an essential building block for your curry and everybody that's watching this video probably already knows that um, but if you don't it's an essential building block for your curries okay now this is our garlic ginger paste one spoon of garlic ginger paste so basically this is our mix Okay, we don't add coriander at all to this one. This is a BIR based gravy. I personally don't add anything green to this apart from that one green pepper. Okay, so you'll see why at the end when we blend the base, the base will be lovely yellow. Okay, now there's many schools of thought on this. All right, you know, people can put this straight on the stove, fill it to the top with water. And then what they do then, they either boil up a spice mix like we're boiling up at the moment and add that to it. And then they actually fry up some garlic, ginger and some spices in some oil with a bit of tomato puree and all the rest of it and add it to the base. I don't do that guys, okay? The takeaway I worked in obviously had big pans and it was a quick, easy you couldn't forget what you was doing, you know? So, everybody to their own. Everybody makes the base their own way. And I'm showing you now how to make uh, this base. I'm showing you now how to make this base, and this base is how we made it in the takeaway, obviously in larger quantities. Okay, so all we need to do now is sift out our spices from our spiced water so it's like a stock but it's a spice stock it's like a garam masala stock instead of a chicken stock or a veg stock so we're going to sift the, the spices out of the water add the water to this fill this up with more water to the level of the onions and then we're going to stick it on the boil so let's do that now that 
is extremely, extremely hot. Okay, so we need to sieve this, but we don't want the spices, but we want the onion and carrot. The onion and carrot, health and safety at work act, leaning over a boiling hot pan. Now the onions and carrots have been cooked in this water and this water has turned a little brownie colour. And the onions are quite sweet and they've taken on that little bit of flavour from the cardamom, cinnamon, star anise whilst it's been boiling away in this water for an hour. So we need to sift out the spices and then put the veg and the water in our base. So let's do that. Right guys, that's all of our dry spices out of our um, soup base, our garam masala soup base. So all these spices we don't need, you could dry them out I suppose. Uh, I'm just going to throw them away. We want this soup in our base. So let's do that. And we need to put that water in there. So what we'll do, we'll clear a hollow and see if we can aim that into there. Without getting splashed. Now, I'll come around this way. <laughs> now what? Right, here we are guys. All that water and all our carrots and onions want to be in there. Okay, so that is all those cooked spices mm. all those cooked spices in our base now we need to fill it with water to the top of the onion level and then we have to stick it back on the boil okay right guys before i fill this complete to the top with water i'm going to put in some diced tomatoes and this is uh, one can of tomatoes and the can of tomatoes is 565 grams, but the drained weight is 370. Now, we're not bothered about the drain weight, because we're going to put the tomato juice in there as well. So I'm going to put this in now, because if you taste your tomatoes, your tomatoes are as sour as heck. Okay? There's nothing in here but salt and water. Now this is as sour as heck, so I can't see the point in adding this towards the end of cooking. Um, we put that in now and let it cook in there. Let it boil down in there. So that's one can of tomatoes. Okay, so that's our full ingredients for our curry base and we need to fill it with water. So that looks like it's full of water. Let's see. Okay, good enough. Now what you could do to help us along the way, we'll put in our half a chef spoon of tomato puree at the same time. And I put that much tomato puree in, hardly anything at all. Okay, but it will impart some tomatoness to our water. Not much to be quite honest. Now, there's many schools of thought about adding coconut blocks, um, cabbage, potatoes. Now, 
originally the curry base was just onions and garlic with some, some spices and then along came the tomato and the carrot um, but you know originally it was just onions garlic and some spices and some water and that was a basis of a curry base after that things have evolved people try all sorts of things to try and make a curry base now to me adding adding carrot to the curry base is okay because it's got a sweetness in I don't understand why anybody wants to add potatoes you know put potatoes in a curry base because they want to add starch to the curry base I, I don't understand okay now that's for everybody else to debate around and, and if you put potatoes in your curry base that's up to you okay if you put cabbage in your curry base that's up to you if you put 50 80 grams of a coconut block in your curry base that's up to you to me that's a waste in your curry base okay so that's my own opinion so don't think you know it's the right way I just think the, the coconut block is better used either in a korma or tikka masala I don't think or even a, a masala paste mix but not not in a curry base I think it's a complete waste of time because this is just basically onions and some spices boiled down and it's going to have a very bland curry taste to this very very bland indeed there's nothing in this there's no strong spices to make it bang out okay this is just our base for our curries so anyway that's enough bubble guys and we'll put it on what i just want to say is uh thank you for elizabeth for actually emailing me now guys if anybody wants to email me ilma email me it's fine if i can get back to you i will um, okay so let's get this on the stove and get it boiling away Okay guys, this has been boiling about an hour, uh, thereabouts, three quarters of an hour towards an hour. What we've got to do now, we've got to add half a litre of oil. So just put the oil in. And then we're going to stir it in. Okay, so give that a stir in. Oh, we got a fan on. It might be making a noise on there. Give that a stir in, guys. And then just carry on boiling. There we go. Just carry on boiling for about another three quarters of an hour. Keep checking it. Uh, but in about another three quarters of an hour, the onions will be getting to the crucial stage where we've got to start watching it. So we'll nip back in about three quarters of an hour, but I'll show you in between different stages of it cooking. Okay, guys, this is the stage now where the onions are now starting to go soft and they start to drop. To the bottom of the pan. This is a stage in this curry base's life which is very very important to look after it. Now we need to keep stirring every couple of minutes or so, five minutes every couple of minutes and not let the onions burn on the bottom. Now these onions are about 25 minutes away 
So we need to keep boiling for about another 25 minutes and then we'll liquidise our base. Now these onions are starting to get really creamy and soft and they are going to drop to the bottom of the pan. Okay, they will drop to the bottom of the pan. So now we have to be careful. We have to really take care of this. It's like mother baby stuff now. Mother looking after baby. You know? We spent the last hour and a half or whatever cooking this. We don't want to ruin it in the last half an hour and have to start again. So we've got a nice oil separation on the top of here already. But the onions are not quite cooked. The onions need to be a bit creamier so we just need to keep boiling it down a little bit but we need to keep stirring it we don't want this stuff to drop to the bottom and stick on the pan Right, okay guys, what we got going on now, you can see the onions are all, they're all dissolving into the water. So now is the time to blend this mix. Now obviously leave the flame on low and just blend it. And then because we need to keep it cooking to um, boil up afterwards. So as you can see, the onions are all creamy and Right guys, that's the blending done. What we need to do now is reboil our base until the oil separates through the top and then we have a BIR curry base. So that's it guys, that's our curry base made. A real BIR curry base, no bull, no nothing, how to make a real base. There we go, made properly. There we are guys, BIR curry base made, a nice watery yellow coloured gravy, absolutely banging and bang on to make perfect BIR curries at home. So what does it taste like? Truthfully, it tastes like a lot of onions that have been boiled for a long time with an underlying taste of garam masala and curry. Fairly bland, very tasty and there's a little bit of heat from the chilli powder that we put in. Mm. But I can tell you right now, this is an absolutely awesome base and it will make absolutely perfect BIR curries at home. This is a real BIR base guys. No holes barred, no extra ingredients that don't need to be in. It really is a good base. Mm.
bit hot. I look forward to making some really, really good curries with this. I now Elizabeth, I hope this helps with your quest. Making your curry business. All I can say is, now you have to try it, make it, see what you think. Now I know there's 10 kilos of onions in here and people are going to scale down or scale up or whatever. I don't really work that way, you know. I work in a large amount of onions and chef spoons. You know, I've been doing that a long time. I don't come along with a pan and go, I won't show you my mixed powder. Why? When making curry, if you want to learn about making a curry, you've got to know what goes in the curry. The base I made a couple of days ago is my base for my curries, which I prefer. Okay, it's tomatoey, it's got a bit of heat, it's got coriander in there, it's got everything in there. This is 100% a BIR base. So you've got two bases to go at guys, whether you scale it up or down is up to you. But this is 100% BIR. Don't forget, if you like the recipe, share with your friends, like and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time when we make a curry. Mm. That is okay. Take care.